So guys, for the first exercise today, I decided to do front squats. Guys, I highly, highly recommend you doing front squats. Go ahead and incorporate them with your back squats, with your deadlifts, you know, on your leg days. But the reason I'm so pro front squats is because they work so much. They work your quads, they work your hip mobility, they work your lower back, great. If you're trying to get your deadlift up, do front squats. I promise, if you're trying to get your deadlift heavier and you're trying to get your deadlift numbers up, do front squats, I promise you. And uh, it helps your core. It helps your core so much more than, uh, than back squats. Not that back squats don't um, work your core, but just front squats help it so much more because you're actually having to use your core to keep your back upright. So for front squats, definitely recommend them. And keep your elbows high, guys. If you keep your elbows high, it's gonna help keep your back straight. And the, the way front squats will be bad is if you start to arch that back, if you start to lean over, you know, hunch over. And the way to prevent that is by keeping those elbows high, all right? So keep your elbows high, keep your back straight, lead with that chest, and add front squats. Highly recommended you add front squats to your program and to your leg day. Oh, my hammy. My hammy guy. Fuck. All right guys, so after that front squat, I definitely did something to my hammy to where I'm not gonna do heavy legs anymore. But I'm with my boy Jesse and he's a boxer and what he was telling me was do these boxing lunges. 300 fucking reps. So I'm gonna try to do these boxing lunges. He's gonna describe kind of what they are and how to do them in case you are a boxer, in case you want to do them. But he said it takes some le less stress off the hammy, so we're gonna try them out. So you're gonna get in your boxing stance. Uh... Basically how you are, bend your knees a little more so you want to feel all the weight on the quads. And you're going to take very small steps, just you know, one foot in front of the other and then yeah, one, two, and then three. Now normally if you know you were a boxer, I would say you then throw the rear hand and that you know of course you know drills the technique and you know all those things. Obviously you don't have to work on that, so just one, two, and then three. Exactly. So since, I mean, you don't have to throw the punch, so you can just, you know, take the steps, go as fast, as slow as you'd like. Be a little more, you know, a little more loose, a little more relaxed, you're, you're good. They all do a punch at the end. Fuck! There you go. <laughs> that was one? That was one. So if I was Malik's boxing coach, I would say to the wall and back is one, and you gotta do that 300 times with body weight and then another 300 times with the medicine ball doing Ooh. twists and um, definitely good for quadricep endurance and again boxing is you know the power comes from the legs but uh, I'm not I'm not Malik's boxing coach so <laughs> no you're not we're sparing him today <laughs> try getting a little lower put a little more there you go a little more tension on the quads there you go back straight a little more so you're there. You go. There it is. Fire, bro. They're for having a great fucking day. These shoes aren't just your average good day shoes. These are your great fucking day shoes. <laughs> so these these are perfect for just. Until you collapse, just keep going. 300 is what Jesse said. He's a psycho. <laughs> I did 21 or 22 and I fell and I want to film the last, just a couple more to show you guys what intensity you guys got to go at. What intensity you guys got to push yourselves to. I'm wobbling going down, dude. Oh. 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 That was like 100% real too. I try to stand up. <sighs> try those. Fuck. Try 25. I dare you. Try 25. Jess, you got anything else to add? So, Show them the one after. Show them the one with the med ball. 
So with the med ball, and again, essentially you're in your boxing stance. You know, your foot is under your shoulder. You know what I mean? So get down real low, and you're holding the, the medicine ball. And you're one, two, three. Right, so you're using, because a punch, power comes from your legs, right? Again, this is just a boxing stance very low. Power comes from the legs, the arms. With that medicine ball, right, you're holding it and you're getting that same motion, that explosive, you know, that tension in the, in the legs and the rotation of the core and the hips and doing that. And then one, two, three, and then one, two, three, and then it's always going to be that, that rear hands. Uh, and what about the third thing? And then if you really want to get fancy, <laughs> just, you know, because... Fuck, We're trying to get fancy, Jesse. Because you just you hate yourself, right? <laughs> Sometimes my culture has them like a, a pole or a broomstick and we'll put a tennis ball on the end. Huh. So, you know, maybe he'll like have a mitt in one hand and then he'll hold the, you know, the thing. So I'm doing this, right? So one, two, three, and maybe, you know, he says a jab or something, I've got to throw. Yeah. Maybe he's, you know, start trying to stab me with the stick and I've got to do this. Yeah. Because essentially all head movement is, isn't really head movement, right? It's body movement. So you're you're just twisting. So that's the same stance we were just in. Yeah. So he'll, you know, throw something at me and I'll have to, you know, do this kind of as dodge I'm, it in that stance. Know, ducking and dodging and throwing and I'm having to move. Strength, you want endurance, you want to be able to keep going because what the fuck is the point of having strength? <laughs> you can't use it. You know what I mean? Exactly. You gotta be able to, you know, you can lift heavy, but can you keep holding it? You know what I mean? So that's why you, you stay there and just 300, 300, 300. Each time it gets harder. And guys, he's saying 300. I did 25. And I'm fucking like this, falling on the fucking ground like a little weenie. That's the workout today. Killed legs. Jesse, thank you so much for that fucking killer. I hate you for that. Of course. <laughs> That's what you're here for. Train like a fighter. Come on. Come, come do what we do. Come hang with us. Yeah. I appreciate every single one of you guys watching this. If you guys have any questions or how, if you guys like the workouts or if you guys like these videos, go ahead and comment down below. Tell me what you liked. Tell me your name. Tell me where you're from. And guys, again, thank you so much. I appreciate every single one of you guys. I'll see you next workout. We